Tonight we welcome Street Breaker to the stage of the Phoenix Theater. This episode has a particularly special feel to it because of the people that make up Street Breaker. Many of them have played in punk and hardcore bands in this building and throughout Sonoma County for over a decade. Tonight we catch up with them, learn about the Street Breaker worldview and life philosophy, and later they will converge musically before your very eyes. Please welcome to the program and back to the Phoenix, Street Breaker. Street Breaker. Hello. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Right. And it is Blade's third appearance. Yes, it And is. I believe everybody but, else but is their counting, first really? appearance. No, everybody's counting Blade. Count. <laughs> Tom, you were listening to some music of Street Breaker earlier. That's true. Yes. You had a thought. Would you like to share it or would you like me to share it for you? No, no. Um, so here's the thing. You guys have been, I think, have, have all of you guys been playing on the stage for about 10 years here, I think. Yeah. And least, start yeah. out more as a metal thing, I think, for most of you. Uh, this is For decidedly, me, yeah, and yeah. this is decidedly uh, much punker. Some would call it skate punk. Mm-hmm. Which, in this building, works incredibly well. Um, so I'm wondering, what has changed, uh, if anything, in your writing in the last 10 years? I'm seeing, uh, I'm seeing songs about suicide. I'm seeing songs about the uh, uh, Piner Skate Park. Some of the, the broader themes that, yes. that this band explores... Uh, you've explored in other projects, and I was like, that is interesting to talk about yeah. because I bet you're feeling a lot of the same things you felt 10 years ago, angst-wise, life uh, is tough-wise, but it's like if you have <laughs> angst that drives the music now, I guess the question is, how is it different than but when you were a teenager? there's the question, is it angst? Well, how are you guys relating to it it's now? It's just, like, the track we get it, I just, when I go to work in the morning, I just look at all the stupid people around me, and that's where that come from, and it's pretty... It's just calling, most of it's calling stuff out that, you know. It's like, we get it. Your boat boat is hella sick. You get chicks. We get it. I I understand. (laughs) Bible up my ass without class. We get it. Yeah, it's just. I like that song because it's very equal opportunity in who it attacks. Yeah. (laughs) You know, everyone's getting a piece. The guy, it's not, it's like the guy with the diesel truck. It blows smoke. Yeah. We get it. No one's safe. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, no one's safe. With the lyrics, which you write, Bobby, I there's like I noticed like like three or four different themes. Um, yeah, and it, we can just kind of go into it. I'd love to kind of like zoom in. One of them, of course, is observing hypocrisy in the world, yes. observing inconsistencies, <laughs> frustrations, and bullshit that people do. Um, we get it. Uh, yeah. We talked yeah. about it a little bit. What about Uncle Terry? <laughs> Uncle Terry. Let's learn about this man, Uncle Terry. That song was just. More, I don't know, more or less of a fluke. It just kind of came out, and it stuck with all of us when it, you know, it came out. I really don't have an actual family. Uncle Terry is just a good friend I've known for a long time. Yeah, that I work with, and he's just a son of a bitch. Yeah, you, you motherfucker! <laughs> you forgot me again. <laughs> You're on parole and doing drugs again. Yeah, he's just a he's a, he's a badass though. <laughs> okay, though to that end, the first like if we call them like categorization of street breaker songs, observing hypocrisy and bullshit in uh, in mankind and those around us. That that would you say that's valid? A valid would you, theme. Would you say sure. that's a valid sure. theme? Yeah. Sure, not. I mean, yeah, not not the only theme. J- if someone in your life let you down, sh- then you know maybe they're an should asshole. be noticed and yeah, yeah, I, noted. I, I, but but this, certainly okay. So uh, just a follow up question before we leave that behind, Bobby. What frustrates you most about humankind? Mm. I don't just stupidity. Stupidity. People that don't have right. common sense when they're in public. Drivers. No, Bobby. Stuff like that. People that don't have common sense <laughs> oh, know, yeah. when they're in public. I've li- I've lived a non common sense <laughs> life before. I know how stupid I can be. <laughs> so, I've been cleaning up your beer here for no. ten years. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and and, yeah, yeah. and as we continue down the line of a categorizations for Street Breaker, we life lessons. Life lessons are there. Uh, one of my favorite Street Breaker songs is "Skate Fast, Eat Ass." <laughs> and what I like about it is it's sort of like a good mantra for life. Yes. Sure. It's pretty basic. You just there's not a lot of ex- explanation. No, there's no one. no need to. No, you just skate down a street pretty quick, and you might you know that's Probably where that get song's there going. I feel like that might be an operating philosophy for Bobby. It's strong operating. It's philosophy. It's a good this way to live your life. Yeah. It's, no, 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 I'm not. I'm not. I'm not being uh, I, I critical. Know. I'm. I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely not. I think that um, these are two things that are fun to do, and worthwhile. 
Yes. Indeed. Yeah. <laughs> Life I, I lessons. Agree. Indeed. Yes. All right. So uh, that's cool. And then an- another categorization, w- I would say uh, excess self-medication, uh, existential dread and suffering. Mm. Um, <laughs> the, the, that's the third category <laughs> of Street Breaker songs. A good category. <laughs> yeah. It's that's a broad one. one. We, cast, we cast a broad a net. Um, is there a song the called uh, FTXPOE? Yeah. It's the one that F-T-P-O-E. goes yeah. uh, relate to the struggle, oh, relate yeah, to the pain. Yeah. You never woke up to yes. break your back for the pay that's yeah that's fuck tomorrow piss on earth fuck tomorrow piss on earth okay yes. so ft <laughs> yes yes P-O-E. ftpoe i know it by the abbreviation <laughs> yes <laughs> <laughs> fuck, fuck tomorrow piss on earth. um <laughs> well that's great um <laughs> i like that song because you're there's a few people are getting the middle finger in that song yeah uh, who, who specifically is getting the middle finger in that song uh, I don't the know. Grande Venti, those motherfuckers. Uh, oh, that one's on there. Just, yeah. Cowards know. who play the seed oh, and walk away. Or plant line. the seed a and walk song. away. Cowards who play. Yeah, a different that's, song? That's a really poignant no, line, though. It might there. be the same that song. That is Shakespeare. Yeah. 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 Nice. Some of them are just poetic. It's just more of, a, more of a fuck you to just, I don't know, richer people. Yeah. <laughs> fuck those it's people. Like a, it's like a working class. Yeah. It's, uh, I have to go to work every day, yeah. and it's like when I see you in line and you're bitching with your little fluffy dog and all this shit because your Starbucks <laughs> is wrong. Like, I, you know, to get out of my way. Yeah. I don't have time for you. I agree. Go smoke a cigarette in your car with the windows up and get the fuck out of my face. <laughs> <laughs> this is the real stuff that we want from Bobby. <laughs> Do it's you, just it's Marin County working there. For you live years. in Marin County, no, or you work I'm in Marin not, County? I've worked down there forever. And it's Bob just, has lived in Tiburon for many yeah, years. Now, Tiburon, yeah. <laughs> Belvedere. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Look, uh, you know what? <clears throat> this keeps coming back. Um, you guys are kind of you're putting this music out there, and you're being loose about it. And you would like to say that you're being loose about it, but the more we go over these lyrics, Jesus, Bobby, <laughs> you got some stuff coming out. The uh, uh, the Piner. Uh, to Piner, it. that's just an homage to it's Piner really, Skate Park. Yeah, that's really right. poignant when you look at it. Yeah, uh, yeah, it yeah. ends with you let me down, I think. But uh, uh, talking about the cold slab, talking about where you would go when you were alone. where yeah. You were, that's, you just go after school in the skate park. Tunes, skateboard right. every day. Correct. Yeah. So All song is Piner's Protection. It's yeah. about the Santa Rosa Skate Park. <laughs> yep. And uh, we, we talk about uh, some drug stuff going on in there. We <laughs> sure. about, you just yeah. talk about the scene around you it. You just I see think. what's going on. Yeah, it's a yeah. dirty, horrible place, but it's a place oh, I've always liked. A lot liked of camaraderie. Go. A lot of guys. Yeah, that's, that get there's a brotherhood there. there. I mean, uh, people that skate. I would say category number four for Street Breaker. We've already gone over three. Oh, I, number like, f- I like. Oh, I spent some time, you know. This yeah, not, this was an bad. educational experience for yeah. me. Um, number four, I would say you're lamenting lost friends, and you're also That's looking back on experiences of the past. Ten years later, ten years yeah. later, you look at this tune, and I'm sure ten years ago you guys were dealing with this issue then, and you're dealing with it again. Have you guys dealt with the suicide issue in, in any of your material? Well, hold on. But, I, I, I think that th- th- there are three songs I would say specifically that fall into that category. You were talking about the suicide one, Tom. Yeah, the suicide issue. That was when I started thinking, my gosh, how many, how many times have you guys dealt with this? Because it, it, it's, it's a theme that keeps coming back in this place, in the Phoenix. I've been for here sure. for 30 years. And it's a theme that we just can't put down, we can't get away from. And I, yeah. I have no idea if there's an answer to it. I, I, but uh, uh, you guys bring it back up, and that's when I started thinking. I wonder how many times these guys have actually dealt with this theme in their in their writing careers and playing careers. Well, it's also it's twofold. It's like how many how many people have you lost to it, and how many times that's have you skated point. close to it? And you yeah, guys deal with that in another tune, actually, as well. And we'll come to that. But okay, but it's more about us slowly committing suicide. Yeah, I mean, and that's and all of our and everyone. just everybody. Yeah, it's you know maybe a whole. I don't know. Those lyrics just kind of came through. I'm not. I'm not suicidal, but that know. song is just. I don't know. That's just. The, those. It just worked for it. It's a pretty heavy topic. Either, yeah. You know. It's just Absolutely. Like. And some, break, breakers never been afraid to kind of go down that hole. Of yeah. Darker. I'm topics. sure everyone at this that, table's probably had a shitty time. Well, I'm just gonna say like we. We all and anyone listening as well. You know, you get to a certain age, you've lost people in your life that you care about. Yeah. Um, there's no avoiding that. It's the one thing that kind of unites everyone. You could be from different walks of life, have different things going on, but we've all experienced loss. Yeah. And what you do with that feeling is uh, you know, we, we can make music, we could. What makes Blade stick around? In life? Yeah. Oh, baby. Uh, th- this, making stuff, creating, just experiencing, traveling, just. The next thing. 
I don't. I don't know. Yeah, because this is part three of the the Blade on stage trilogy. Who knows? Josh if Staples. Will be I knew. You, yeah, uh, you're tied. You're tied. Um, but uh, but the first one was with Mike Bingham and Ross Farrar, right, and yeah. that was a very a very dark dour. <laughs> that was a dark, very line. dark oh, dour yeah, episode. Dark <laughs> very dark. And then the second one was Creative Adult with yeah. all the folks in Creative Adult, and that was a little a little looser, a little wackier, but also some darkness. Sure. But um, and and now here we are, the third one. Um, but yeah, I wonder about like about Blade because you do seem to have sort of like a more free flowing thought process about this existence. You, sure, see, yeah. you seem to not be too <laughs> attached to too too much, so that's why it's an interesting yeah. question for me about you. Because whereas, um, th- well, what a fabulous contrast, by the way, uh, Bobby and Blade. Because <laughs> 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 no, no. Bobby is, from what I'm gathering, pretty no nonsense. Uh, whereas Blade, I'm all nonsense. <laughs> yeah, I'm all yeah nonsense. but it's, that's I, not what I'm saying. Uh, when they're together, this, this would yeah. be a sure. new Bobby for turn into a confusion. <laughs> yeah, no. I, I, I do. I really appreciate that question. It's it's, I, it's insanely personal, but also I'm an incredibly observant person. Yeah, I think if you know me, you know that I take notes on stuff. I I, I keep ta- I keep tabs. <laughs> yeah. I, I, not a lot gets by me. Yeah. You might think it does, but it doesn't. I don't think um, it does. We're a watcher, real watcher. I'm a watcher. Yeah. I, I love the, the little minor details in life. I love the little simple things. And um, is the question why I haven't killed myself yet? Uh, <laughs> is, that, <laughs> is that what you're asking? I mean, well, maybe, in a no. roundabout kind of way. <laughs> um, <laughs> you just strike me as somebody who, as if that thought crossed your mind, you would be less likely to stick around than someone else because of the way you live your life, which is you have a detachment that a lot of other I, friends I, I have don't have to life. And I think that served you well. Sure. I think it's caused you to be well, much I more think, of an individual. I think maybe a healthy detachment is, I, is I, the way I'd put it. And I don't say it judgmentally at all. Yeah. You just strike me as somebody who thinks well, what is kind this? of outside. What is this? What is I think the, that's kind of how everybody you know, in this band is. Who made this? this? You know, like I, like, I could trip out. Like, who makes this fucking table? Like, I, I could think about stuff like that all day. Yeah, why? Yeah. There's a ladder over there. Who makes those? Yeah, my question is not why you haven't killed yourself yet, but, uh, <laughs> but what an interesting question that is. Um, my question is more, um, I don't know, what keeps you tuned in and not going in that direction? I, I've been doing this, not sitting at this table, but just making stuff and surrounding myself with creative people yeah. for a long time that have continually inspired me to keep going. Um, the tunnel, it's a big tunnel and I don't think I'm, I'm even, I'm not halfway through it yet. You know, there's still a lot to explore and experience creatively and musically. Um, a lot of the world I haven't seen yet. A lot of people that are out there that I need to meet and I haven't. A lot of music I haven't heard. A lot of, you know, books I haven't read. I think I've always just been amazed with everything i could get interested in anything and uh i don't know where i'm going with it but uh this microphone smells pretty well, good well yeah. <laughs> classic blade <laughs> smell <laughs> that smell yeah. i have a, i have a question there's a new song um it's i, I don't know the lyrics to it uh pay my ex for sex <laughs> um what's the backstory no. there holy shit <laughs> yeah. there, was a, there was a i didn't think you're gonna bring that one up shit. <laughs> bring it up it's got a there was a, a basically a non like non money transaction, more or less a trade. Yeah, with one of my exes, goods for, and services for sex. Yeah, it's just right there in the writing. I appreciate that. <laughs> That's it. Exes with Pretty benefits. Cool. Yeah, yeah, exes with benefits. Yeah, yeah. There you go. we might rename it to that. Exes with That's benefits. A new verse. So, it happens. It happens to the best of us. You fuck it. Well, I think this has been quite a thing. Yeah. Tom, do you have any closing thoughts for us? It's been great. We don't know exactly what that thing is, but it has been quite a thing. Yep. Um, <laughs> but it's been a good thing. Go ahead, Blade. you have any closing thoughts for us, Blade? <laughs> you know, I, I I want to encourage people to just kind of lose it a little bit. I think, the, like, I, I'm freaked out about the world right now. I got to say, like, our, I feel like World War Three is coming. It's coming. I feel the same way. Right? So, yeah. fuck it. Let's make some music, have a good time, and... Roll with the punches. You know, let's fucking... Let's chill. Well, th- thank you guys so much for <laughs> joining us tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, it's been very cool to check in and see what you're doing after... Many of you got your starts playing here, right? 
Would sure. you say that? Many Absolutely. of you played yeah. first shows, oh. came to first shows. Yeah. We talk about My it every single shows. time, Definitely. guys like you come on. Yep. But it's first one show. of the best things about this show that Tom and I do is people get to come in. This is where I was at in you know April 2017. And right. this is what you guys are spending some time doing now, Street Breaker. And it's really cool that we get to document that and spend some time with you. So thank you so much for yeah, coming thanks. on. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Uh, interview's over. Street Breaker's now going to play a collection of songs and maybe destroy a little bit of the stage. And then Tom the can stay until 5 a.m. <laughs> and clean it up. And clean it up. <laughs> Thank you guys again for joining us. Thank you. Street Breaker. One, two, three, four. Why the fuck are you looking at me? Why the fuck are you looking at me? Never look into my eyes. Never look into her eyes. Stay the fuck away from me. Stay the fuck away from us. I'll be happy when you go. I'll be happy when you go.
Yeah, no way!